Routing calculations are kind of a funny thing sometimes. It's never what we're supposed to do to prepare enough to tax return, because the drivers are supposed to be keeping records of their odometer at each state entrance and exit. But sometimes it's the only thing we can do when the proper records aren't made or are lost. Recreating the travel from other sources like fuel receipts, bills of lading, and dispatch records can be a good option when the truck was destroyed or stolen and the records were lost. Or when the only person who knows where the records are is unreachable. Or when the driver is brand new and didn't understand what records he was supposed to be keeping. Or if the GPS failed for a short time. Or if the original records are lost in the mail. There's a lot of good reasons to recreate trips, and when it's done properly, the results can be very good. There are a lot of ways to use routing calculations on my website. First, if you have your own routing calculation software, you can use that just like you probably always have. Then, use the other miles or the trip blog data entry screens to manually re-enter your calculations. That's typing everything twice, and I don't know about you, but that's not my favorite way to get a job done. So there's another way. Second, if you have PC Miler software, you can do your work as usual and then save the state country report. Save it as either an XLS or a TXT file. Then come here to Data Uploads, Mileage Uploads, and choose the proper report from the drop-down menu. Once you choose your file and click Upload, the, the data will automatically be entered into the system. And I'll save your source document into the file cabinet. The third way is to do your routing calculations directly on my website using our online PC Miler tool. If you want to use option 3, then from the dashboard, make sure you've selected the correct client and then go to Other Miles. From here you need to choose PC Miler from the drop-down menu and then make sure that the correct truck is selected. Now that we're here, you can recreate routes from the city and state or the zip code. Remember, spelling counts and often zip codes are more specific. Work with what you have, but know that the more accurate you are, the more accurate the calculation will be. Now there are lots of ways to get from point A to point B on a map, and the website PC Miler application will choose the shortest route between the two points you select. So let's go through some examples. First, let's do a trip from Los Angeles, California to New York. Once your date is entered, simply click Get Miles, and then it's time to review. See how it tells me all the states and miles I would have to travel in each state? Seems really simple, right? Now let's double check something. Let's go to Google Maps and pull that same question. Los Angeles, California to New York, New York. And you can see that there's three different routes here for how to get between the two locations. Now while they all might look like they take about the same amount of time, they are not the same number of miles and they do not travel in the same states. So whenever possible, we want to provide as much detail as you can about as many states as you can. So I'm going to go back to the website here and I'm going to go ahead and accept this route by putting in a date and clicking Save. Once you save, the screen goes blank and that's good. It means the data has been moved over here to the View Edit screen. Let me show you real quick because the fun thing is that your PC Miler is tagged in the description. Now that we're back here on the PC Miler tool, let's try another route. Let's say that same driver went from New York, New York down to Orlando, Florida. Again, there's more than one way to go. And as anybody from the East Coast or any truck driver will tell you, given the choice, there's one place any driver will want to avoid. DC. But if all you have is a beginning and an endpoint, you don't know if that driver had to go that way, or if they went another way, or if they had a stop somewhere off the beaten path. So in this case, instead of just typing in a begin and an end point, I'm going to give some points along the way. Let's see, New York to Hershey to Lynchburg to Charlotte to Atlanta, to Jacksonville. To Orlando.
Now this route is very different from what PC Miler would calculate on its own with just a beginning and end point, and it's very different than the routes that Google gave us to get from the same point A to point B. So you can see that it's important to do as much detail as, can, as you can. So now I'm going to click Get Miles, and I want to review. Scroll down here. Now once I'm happy with this, and this is the route that I want to use, not only do I want to save this by entering in a date and clicking Save, but I also want to do a print screen. I want to know how I came up with this route, because that will help me in case of an audit. So let's see here. Data is gone, it's over to view edit. So those are the three ways that you can enter routing calculations into the website.